In the very early stages of the solar system in the protoplanetary disk, likely before CAI formation, before formation of the chondrules, so really at the very beginning, parts of the protoplanetary disk, small or larger, it's not entirely clear, were very hot and all the material was completely evaporated. And when this gas started to cool, the elements and minerals started to condense from this gas. And this plot here shows the sequence of minerals condensing from this gas. And of course, the mineral sequence is closely linked to the 50% condensation temperature of the elements. This is why the mineral formulas are shown here as well, so this link can be directly seen. On the y-axis the temperature decreasing, and on the sort of secondary y-axis there are components found in chondrites in which the various minerals are found. So these are basically the components built formed by these minerals that condensed um, in the sequence from the gas. So at very high temperatures, we start with something like corundum, which has aluminum, which is a ref refractory element, together with calcium. And calcium is then also found, for example, in hibonite, together with aluminum and also titanium, another highly refractory um, element. And also something like perovskite, calcium and titanium, or spinel. And one thing that is my, uh, worth mentioning here is that even though these are high temperatures and only refractory elements should form, there's also a highly volatile element, which is in this case oxygen, that also condenses at these high temperatures. This is um, a good illustration that condensation is not simply linked to the 50% condensation temperature of the elements, but also what kind of mineral is stable. And if the mineral incorporates a volatile element, such as oxygen in this case, it can also condense. Another example would maybe manganese in, in olivine. And manganese is also rather volatile, but in olivine it can condense at higher temperatures. So all these high temperature condensates are primarily calcium aluminum rich oxides, with in cases also, also some um, silicates, such as, in this case, melilite. And all these high temperature condensates form the CEIs, but also some, uh, but also AOA, so these amyloid olivine aggregates. And this is between maybe 1700 and 1400 kelvins. After this temperature, next in sequence are the main elements and minerals. So the main elements are magnesium, silicon, and iron. So what's forming here now is forcerite, ansatite, which should be Si2 here. Um, then there's also metal and anorthite, which is a calcium feldspar. So this is the high temperature feldspar here. And all this forms in a smaller window between maybe 1230 and 1400 Kelvins. Next is then Again, olivine, so this is more qualitative, the temperature here. This is, this is not entirely 100% linked. This is rough temperatures. So this is olivine with iron inside. So this is like in um, melting, so forced white is crystallizing at 1800 degrees Celsius and um, failite at about 1200, so the same is for condensation. Iron, which comes later, this is also by pyroxene comes in here, then plagioclase, which is a low temperature feldspar, there's sodium inside, which is a volatile element, troilite with sulfur, which is volatile. And while um, the main elements are usually also uh, always in chondrules and a little bit in matrix, these more volatiles are more in the matrix of the chondrites. And then below about 640 Kelvin, there are elements that can condense from the gas, but these are also elements that very often are formed due to alteration on the parent bodies. So if these are found in a meteorite, it's not easy to say, okay, these are all minerals that just condensed from, from the gas or so, but very likely these are alteration products like something like sulfate or magnetite, phyllosilicates, carbonates, and so on. So these are all minerals containing typically lots of water like OH or 
in cases also H2O. So this is the mineral sequence that condenses from a gas. These are the major minerals that form, which means these are the minerals to um, memorize when, when studying these kind of condensation sequences here from a gas.